solution in the first arrangement the two cells were arranged in series now we have our bell represented by this resistor symbol this is the bell of resistance R cell 1 cell 2 we are told that the current going to the bell I is 0 0.2 ampere we are expected to get the resistance of the bell total EMF E sub T is EMF of the first cell plus the EMF of the second cell there are two of them and they are in series so the total EMF will give us 1.5 plus 1.5 volts this will give 3 volts that's the total EMF total internal resistance resistance R total will give me R1 plus R2 so the total internal resistance will give 1 plus 1 that gives us 2 ohms then if we apply the equation current but current is equal to total EMF divide by the external resistance plus total internal resistance the current is 0 0.2 total EMF is 3 external resistance not known total internal resistance 2 if we cross multiply we have 3 equal to 0 0.2 into R plus 2 3 equal to 0 0.2 R plus 0 0.4 3 minus 0 0.4 will give us 0 0.2 R 2.6 equal to 0 0.2 R therefore the resistance of the bell is 2.6 divided by 0 0.2 which is 13 ohms the second part of the question we are asked to calculate the current that the bell will take when the cells are in parallel so we still have our bell but we have one important information about the bell this time around the information is the resistance of the bell is known the resistance of the bell is known but the, cell, the bell is now connected to the cells when they are connected in parallel to form battery so we have this arrangement of the cells joined together negative terminals joined together positive terminals joined together all the positive terminals the cells are now connected in parallel so this cell is now linked to the bell we have the arrangement like this this is the first cell of EMF E1 this is the second cell of EMF E2 now we are looking for the current that is going to the bell now that the cells are in parallel connection the total EMF total EMF of the battery formed E total will give me E1 plus E2 since they are 2 over 2 the average so the total EMF 
will give me 1.5 plus 1.5 divided by 2. We are getting total EMF of 1.5 volts. This internal resistance, total internal resistance represented by R total, we use simple method is the internal resistance of 1 since they are equal, divided by 2. 1 divided by 0 divided by 2 a total internal resistance of 0 0.5 ohms.